Hi and welcome to uh, Cloud Education. Um, we're going to today be showing you how to um, how to do a classic uh, ping game. It's a one-person game. Um, our score goes up to ten. If you get ten, you win. If you get minus five, you lose. Um, you can alter the speed of the um, of the of the play and alter the size of the puck. All variables are up to you. I'm going to just run through, but I'm going to, I'm going to play the game very. I'm going to play the game very um, briefly. To show you idea. I'm going to play around a few variables as well to show you. So here's our cat, and we press space to play, and here's our puck. Now I've done this on a very slow setting, just so you can see some of the variables what's happening. So it's going across there. It's hitting the puck. The puck changes colour and it's playing a sound, but I don't know how to record sound on here. If I miss it, the uh, goal changes and my score changes. So I'm going to hit that to there. I've hit, I've got a score. I'm going to do it again. Now, if you look down here, you'll see a y-axis uh, variable that keeps changing. The y-axis is the up-down axis. It's going down there, goes from 180 down to minus 180. So basically, every time it's coming back here, it's putting a new variable coming over here and shooting back to a different um, variable. So not on the x-axis. Goes up to there. I'm going to get down to minus 5 because I'm just in that kind of mood. Goes down there, completely changes. Oh, get my puck out of the way. I'm going to stop that there because I'm going to play a proper game later. Oh, I'll keep playing on, I'll keep playing on there in the, in the corner so you can watch what's happening. Um, so I've got one, two, uh, one sprite. And I'm going to rename that sprite. That is my bat. I've got my ball, and I've got my goal, and I've got my um, sprite, and we'll just call that scratch. Because, oh, scratch. Into there. Stop that, actually. Stop that. Um, get a scratch. Okay, so I'm going to explain to you just some of the uh, what's going what's going on here. The coordinates are important, just to those axes and up down there. So if I look at my flow diagram. Um, so I made it. I made it um, as big as I can. Can you see full screen? No, that's fine. So start with press the green flag, and all my variables are set to zero. Um, Scratch then appears and says, press the space bar. Now this resets the variables again because the space bar is like, hey, do you want to play again? Rather than doing the green flag all the time. We wait till the space bar has been pressed. We then a bit of delay time and then we broadcast um, a message saying left shoot or shoot left. Um, so left shoot. The first thing left shoot does is checks our score. Um, is our score 10? Then broadcast, you've won. If our score is negative 5, broadcast, you lose. But obviously, at the start, it's going to be not going to be that, but we all check anyway, more than minus 5, less than minus 10. So here is the important bit. The y axis gets set to minus 180, to plus 180. Um, and the x-axis is fixed. So basically the y variable is a random number up and down. It then glides to a new position um, over there. And you can alter the time that you want to um, into there. Um, so go to the position. And then we go over to the control of the, the two sprites, the goal and the bat. So we'll look at the bat first. So if the bat is touching the ball, our score goes up by 1. We broadcast the turn right, 
and then we've got a little routine here costume change play the sound that's a little routine if the goal gets hit touching the ball our score goes down by minus one we broadcast return right we do a costume change and whatever you want to do there but it's the return right routine that's the key thing so return right again set the y axis to plus 180 down to minus 180 the x axis is now positive it then goes back over there and then when it gets back it then broadcasts left shoot and runs for the routine again so I'll keep on doing that routine until the score is either 10 or the score is negative 5 so if we got 10 we win and we get applause scratch says win so to play again with the space bar if you lose laughter play again and it goes back here again to the um, space bar again it's kind of a big loop on that um, I could do a big loop on that but that's just something to do if I zoom out a second and zoom out yeah we'll just do a little may as well do a little loop just for completeness so that's all that's nice um, that's there that's there make that a bit bigger and then we can just set these yeah these go back to here I guess I could do an arrow I suppose uh, here we go one arrow one arrow or we can go then we can do another arrow oh we'll do that later that's fine it loops round and restarts again but the key thing everything's set back to zero so we go back to here and run through what's happening on the actual uh, program so our stage when we click our green script everything goes to zero and we've got a space by routine and I'll go to scratch when the green arrow is clicked it shows it says press space to play nothing happens without the space bar being pressed when the space bar is pressed scratch hides so we go back to our stage our space bar has now been pressed again the variables are reset to zero and our time I put a time to two just for a better game so it's time it's two and then we go over to the ball space bar is pressed at the start it shows and it's gone to position there um, in fact I did the big round so it just goes there first and then it shows itself and then it broadcasts routine shoot left left shoot and just to remind you left shoot is that one there so left shoot shoot left um, it's our score check if the score is 10 our ball hides wing gets broadcast if our score is negative 5 it hides lose gets broadcast if our score is higher than that or lower than that y axis goes to a random number between minus 180 and plus 180 it then glides in our time we've set to x about here and somewhere along there so basically it's going to go somewhere up there so what could happen our ball control um, um, uh, here we go sorry. our ball control so we've got um nope, not ball control, back control. Our back control, if the up arrow is pressed, we go up by thirty. Down arrow is pressed, y goes down by negative thirty. So it goes down by thirty or changes by thirty. When the space bar is pressed, this routine starts running, it always checks if it's touching the ball. If it is touching the ball, then it sends off return to right message the score gets changed and it's a routine but again it's just return to right message this is for something in a moment I'm going to show you um, again if a goal gets hit always running like that if a goal gets hit does a ball check does a routine stuff and it broadcasts return to right I've done a thing here again I'm going to show it in a moment okay return to right uh, so when the ball gets returned to right, it picks a new y-axis variable, it glides over to the positive x, it comes back, it does the shoot left routine, shoot left checks what's happening, 
So eventually on our loop we will get to the win being broadcast or the lose being broadcast. So on our scratch if it gets win it will show play sound you win play again press space. If you lose you lose press space. So again we need the space bar to be pressed for the whole routine to start. And that's it. Um, so I'll show you the game again and just watch the axis. You don't need any of these showing just the score is important. Um, so we press our green flag to start. Everything's hidden. Scratch appears. Five, six. Now you said you can't hear the sound, unfortunately. I haven't figured out how to play sound yet on this. Um, well, I can play sound, but I had to record sound from the computer because I'm more vista, and vista is just a bit hopeless. And we're going down. Oh dear. Oh, we're losing. Oh no, I'm not concentrating. We should ever lose. Why not? Minus three. Minus four. Oh, oh, oh. Minus four. You lose. Now, some of you may have noticed a bug in the program that um, I realise. And it's, it's a bug, it's just a computer doing what the computer does. Um, so, when the puck goes over here, which is that, and then it comes back. Now, there's a possibility of course that the puck could hit your um, your bat and the computer knows that if you hit your bat uh, if it's touching change the score and play the sound um, that's a bug so I think how do I get rid of this bug so again it's just using um, using variables to go to our goal and I don't know thing here if it gets hit we're going to set this variable called goal check to one. So a variable called goal check goes up by um, goes up by one, and then there's routine. And then eventually, after two seconds, the goal check goes to zero. So if the goal check is one. That means that the left goal has been hit. Then go to our bat, and instead of if just touching ball, it needs two things to be true. So we we'll just undo that, and we'll put that. There. So for this to happen, it needs to be touching the ball, and the goal check has to be zero. If the goal check is one, it um, it will just go straight through and won't do anything. Um, it shouldn't really go straight through. It should actually just bounce back. But then if it bounces back, it hits that, and I'm sure it doesn't count. That's just a problem. So again, that's something to work through. Just a um, how to solve because that's been involved more variables. That's just a bit complicated um, something to do later so just to show you that and what I'll do is I'll sh slow the time down by oh let's just see four seconds just so you can see what happens so what I'll do is I'll just go to the stage but go to the stage and oh not going to stage going to the bat and we'll just put that to there, just show you the problem. Here comes the ball. It goes through there. But we hit it. And I just stop. So you'll see, maximize it. You see we've got a left to a left goal got hit, got a one, but that got hit as well. So we've got a one there, so we've got a neutral score. And that's not really fair. Um, so we go back to here. 
and then we just change that to that make sure it's in um, make it big press the space bar to start and we're going to just and pause and you'll see the ball went through there it came back it came through there but because the gold check was on a, um, a zero I'll just show the gold check actually I'll just show gold check was on zero um, wasn't on was on one, it didn't work. It didn't work, it worked, it did work, it didn't give me a score. So just again, gold check on zero, it hits one, that goes to one, back to zero again. It hits, goes to one, back to zero. So this the puck will only here we go, hit it. Do it again, just play again. The puck will only There we go. So the gold checks on one, so the puck went through there, didn't give me a score because we need that to be zero, we need that to be zero for the score. Okay. Um thanks for uh thanks for tuning in. Um I hope that's clear. I'll put the program and I'll put the um, all the variable um, the uh, fl the flowchart on my website, and I hope that's uh, that's clear. Happy scratching! Bye.